Hello and welcome back. We're working our way through a unit on similar figures and proportions. Today we're going to work specifically with similar triangles and some special segments of those triangles. The special segments we'll be working with today are altitudes, angle bisectors, and medians. And here's what we know about those things. When two triangles are similar, then we know that the corresponding altitudes, angle bisectors, and medians are proportional to the corresponding sides. Hmm, well, what does that mean? Let's look at this first example and I'll show you. The triangles below are similar, so find X. Well, we have our special segments right in the middle of these similar triangles. What kind of special segment is that? Well, we've got some clues here. On this triangle, we know that the bottom is split into two congruent parts and it hits at a 90 degree angle. Same with the little guy, two congruent parts and a right angle, which means that our special segments are perpendicular bisectors. So if we have two similar triangles and a perpendicular bisector, what that means is that we can have seven and 5.25, and that's the same proportion as 22, the length of the perpendicular bisector, and X, the length of the other perpendicular bisector. So we've set up a proportion and now we can just solve it. So 5.5, times 22 is 115.5 and 7 times x is 7x. So we'll divide both sides by 7 and we get x equals 16.5. Okay, let's try another one. We have two more similar triangles with special segments just like the other one, we've got congruent parts on the bottom. However, these special segments don't hit at a 90 degree angle. They cut the opposite sides in half though, which means these special segments are medians. And just like we did with the perpendicular bisector, we can set up a proportion. We can say that 15 is to 10 as 33 is to X. So that means that when we cross multiply, 330 is 15 X, divide both sides by 15 and X equals 22. These two triangles are also similar and we have special segments that meet at a 90 degree angle, but we don't have congruent markings on the bottoms, which means that these special segments are altitudes. An altitude tells you the height of a triangle and the height of the triangle comes from the vertex straight down to the ground and hits at a 90 degree angle. So we can set up a proportion just like we did before. So we can say 22 is to X as 20 is to 10. and cross multiply. So 220 equals 20 X. So X equals 11. This one looks a little bit scarier because it has a lot of words, but we'll just break it into steps. So we've got ABC similar to MNP and AD is an altitude. So AD is an altitude and MQ is an altitude. Those are our special segments. AB is 24, okay. AD is 14. MQ is 10.5. And we need to find MN. So we've got two similar triangles with our special segments 
and we can just jump right in to a proportion. So we can say 24 over X equals 14 over 10.5. And then cross multiply 14 X equals 24 times 10.5, which is 252. Divide both sides by 14. X equals 18. For this next section, we're gonna focus in on just the angle bisector. And instead of working with two triangles, we're only gonna be working with one. The triangle bisector says that an angle bisector in a triangle separates the opposite side, the opposite side into two segments that are, can you guess? Proportional. To the lengths of the other two sides. Again, it's a little bit of a mouthful, but when you see it in action, it's not too bad. So here we have an angle bisector and we know it's an angle bisector because of these congruent markings right here. So if we have an angle bisector in our triangle, that means that 20 has the same proportion to seven as 24 does to X. So 20 over seven equals 24 over X. So 20 X equals 168. Divide both sides by 20 and we get X equals 8.4. Let's try one more. Again, we have an angle bisector. We know that because we've got those congruent markings. And with that, we know that 30 is proportional to X. The way that 20 is proportional to, hmm. Well, if this whole piece is 28 and this piece is X, that means this must be 28 minus X. And now we have our proportion. So 30 is to X as 20 is to 28 minus X. These numbers might get big and that's okay. So cross multiply 30 times 28 minus X equals 20 X. So 30, 30 times 28 is 840 minus 30 X equals 20 X. Add 30x to both sides. 840 equals 50x. Divide both sides by 50 and you get x equals 16.8. So there we go. Triangles have these special segments. They've got altitudes, angle bisectors, medians, perpendicular bisectors. And they all create proportional parts within each other. It's really cool. In the end, geometry is all about relationships and the relationships of different pieces and parts of the world to each other. So thanks for being here.